Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like, subscribe button. And if you would like to get a personal reading, link is below in the description box. Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's get into your reading and happy birthday Virgo, if it is your birthday today. Um, and happy birthday to Ralph K also and i do believe steve O. I i believe i think all right let's take a look what are your messages going forward virgo sun moon rising or venus also thank you everyone who's bought me a copy super super grateful um okay let's see so you're starting off with control you have children communication all right let's stop there and get into this let's see so I've changed the format up a little bit. We're going to see how this goes. Okay, control. Releasing. Taking back your power. Kinky in the bedroom. All right. All right. And also, listen, you guys. I just uploaded the week's video on my OnlyFans. Those are readings that I do there that I cannot do here on YouTube. So if you are interested in getting some kinky readings or just using the decks that I can't use here, go on over to my OnlyFans. It's $4.99 a month to sign up. You can renew at any time. You don't have to. And they are weekly readings, a little extra. Okay, so let's take a look. What's going on with control? Okay, you've got the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, so you've got a water sign here. Um, who looks like? Well, there's definitely um, a water sign who's showing up here, where there's a a kinky physical thing. This person, well, with the star, they could be a star. Um, a little bit controlling, might have some like some control in the bedroom, that kind of thing. Um, it could be local celebrity. They could be a worldly celebrity. Um, doesn't have to be. There is some kind of renewal. This person, it looks like they are going to try to take back their power in uh, this relationship or take back their power under the sheets if you know what i mean or try to get kinky under the sheets this does not really feel like a love thing <laughs> but there is renewal and healing as well i do feel like this person does have like a physical thing for you or, or may just there could be like this puppet string kind of thing going on here puppet on a string uh, master of puppets maybe a little metallica person might like Metallica. All right, let me see. What else is going on? Ooh, Cuba's arrows. Well, there's definitely some crush stuff happening here. Wow, Virgo. So there's going to be a lot of communication, maybe some love bombing. Um, doesn't necessarily mean I'm not picking up like the big N word, but it does feel like a lot of communication happening in um, October. Physical very strong like physical um engage and release if you know what i mean i can't really say the words here but a lot of physical release um orgasmic release kind of thing happening here so you know you take that the way you want to take that okay but i do feel like october there will be communication some good news definitely arriving from a king of cups let me see here. Um, could be travel by plane or long distance travel. And I'm also getting... There's like um, taking some action. Some quick change and some action happening here. Let me see something. So we also have Aquarius. I want to give you... Uh, I want to also tell you that. Aquarius, hold on. And I'm picking up also uh, Sagittarius as well. Okay, so somebody could be on the cusp of Pisces, Aquarius, or Scorpio, Sagittarius. Okay, just one more, please. 
okay or libra scor uh yeah libra scorpio energy okay so i feel like this person is definitely coming in to make something like definitely bringing you some truth that there's a strong physical kind of thing um and tell you that they <laughs> to be fair i feel like the, like i'm quoting to be fair i'm really just i want to tie you up that's what i'm saying oh my god i'm gonna get banned for saying this and the crazy thing is i just have to say the reading that i uploaded for my only fans it was the message was so similar so i guess maybe i'm i'm not gonna segue into that here but i will tell you that if this part right here i'm actually gonna leave this if you if that resonates for you go on over to my only fans and go get that message because that goes in like 20 minutes long way deeper so there might be something there i'm going to leave that there and let's just move on and see what's going on with children childlike innocence and fun okay hmm okay so i feel like some of you virgos are like i'm too grown up for that shit virgo you're getting into more of like some of you might be like hmm I'm working too much. Honestly, that's what I feel like is happening here. Some of you are just in this place like, I'm working way too much. I don't have time for the kids. I don't have time to just go play and be a child. I don't have time. I'm working way too much. Some of you are thinking about vacation. Are you thinking about doing something more fun or something that you want to do that's fun? Okay. Yeah. Look at you. You're working too much. You're like working yourself to the bone. I feel like this is, you're like, leaving yourself out in the cold, it, like this poverty mindset. You're uh, Virgo, you're isolated in October, you know. Um, I really feel like these cards, I don't know, I don't find any joy with the way these cards are looking like right here. I feel like there's joy with the children. I feel like there's joy with this because it's not just children. It's just innocence and fun as well. And I feel like it's, I feel like the message here is you need to find something fun to do for yourself, whatever fun is for you, because I, I feel like you're either working too much or you're working too hard. And what does fun? I know there's some Virgos who are like, well, you know, I really enjoy working. I mean, it's really fun and that's fine. You can find a way to have fun while you're at work if you really enjoy working, you know, but there's something here about October. So I don't know what exactly that could be. I feel like you, you get some invites to do stuff or to go somewhere, or to go out, or that kind of thing. But I kind of feel like you you just don't want to. Maybe, Virgo, maybe you have like a little bit of depression or something, or you're just struggling with something. And you maybe you're like a little bit depressed, or you're feeling like, I just don't want to. Uh, maybe you, get in, you could be getting some invites to, or an invite to go to a date. You're kind of isolating here and just diving into your work. You could be reeling from a past relationship where it's kind of like, you know what? I just want to be alone. I just didn't do my job. I'm just going to build my empire. But, you know, and I think that's great. And work can be very therapeutic. But I also feel like if, if, if there's got to be a little bit of balance. So you will get like a surprise offer that comes in or an invite. Somebody invites you to go out or to do something. I feel like take it. Okay, take it in October to just get out and like, I don't know, do a little something fun so you can break up the monotony of your everyday work. Just try to get a little sun, you know, open up them curtains a little bit. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the hermit here, yeah, it's all gray and dark and he's isolated and he's like up on this mountain all by himself, but he, at least he has a little light. He's got a tiny little star it's got a little bit of a light there. It's not completely dark, you know, so let a little light, let a little light in is what I'm hearing. He looks all gray and gloomy and I know he's being very self-reflective, but that star, you know, the star is like renewal. The star is healing. You know, maybe you have a connection with an Aquarius or you have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. I feel like um, Aquarius is kind of like, just letting things go you know that's the fool as well that's like being adventurous you know so i feel like there's some kind of need to kind of like get some hope 
have like a little new beginner beginning or have like a little fresh hope about something okay now you also have communication texting phone calls and some online stuff going on so let's see what's going on here so you're gonna get some calls or some communication let's see from who what is this communication oh okay so you've got an emperor so this could be an Aries for some of you um, could be from that boss who was interested in you yesterday I say or the day before I can't remember ooh okay so somebody ooh somebody wants to like steal away or sneak away with you let me see there's the fool absolutely Aquarius energy so you are going to get a message though also from someone who's going to tell you that somebody you're going to hear from someone and someone's going to tell you that their 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 partner is away on business and they think that they're cheating or something like that or they're they're doing some kind of theft or they're they stole something you're going to hear something like that right um or you're going to be asking someone if like while they're away if they were messing around or if somebody's messing around so it's like a text or a phone call and it has to do with somebody cheating okay so it may be connected to you or it could be about a friend you're going to hear something definitely in october in regards to this could be about an aries could be in about a be about gosh be about an Aquarius let me see okay it could be um, for some of you it's connected to children or it's connected to um, siblings so like you might hear from a sister or a brother oh I think my head I think Jack's cheating or I think this is going on or something like that okay could be hearing from a father or like an older sibling or something like that or could be something for some of you it's about work somebody stealing from work um, if you're in like a family business as well there's some kind of concern you it's it's a little bit of like something comes through or you reach out to another person and there's something that comes through okay I don't feel like you're gonna get a message that someone's gonna gossip and tell you that you're person is messing around I don't pick that up and you may receive a message from your person asking you if you're sneaking around whoever your person is okay so there's definitely keep your eyes peeled for some kind of um, uh, something to do with a text message or a call in regards to someone doing something deceptive you might have someone from your past also reaching out and asking hey did you ever cheat on me or something like that kind of that's kind of a quirky thing to ask but it's odd I guess it could happen all right let's see what else is going on here something good for Virgo give Virgo something good okay oh spiritual growth okay you got that the other day young female past love okay let's see what's up all right spiritual growth learning expanding the soul all right that's good let's take a look what's going on with your spiritual growth virgo how's that going for you wow they just flipped this right out oh well you're at the end of some kind of struggle so that's excellent hard work man it's been hard virgo i feel like you've been really putting in the work and the effort for your spiritual growth look at that the higher font there you go i mean you have reached the peak for sure um like you come have come to full understanding you are in like this default stage like you know how it works now you know um you you're you're off you're you're offloading your burdens to spirit that's what i feel like is going on so that's the peak so what does that mean i feel like your spiritual journey has come to this place now where 
instead of you're just like basically you, you know when you need to do your praying you know when you need to do your meditating you know when you need to sage you know when you need to like take that walk and do that like listen to that good soul music you know when to talk positive stuff to yourself you know you know you know when you know where to go when you, you know what books to read you know like you you're not kind of lost you're not kind of walking in the dark as far as your spiritual growth at this point so it's like you've been listening to podcasts you've been watching the the videos you've been reading the books you've been learning you know and it's it's definitely been like a, a battle like a long journey for you but I feel like with a heart font like when you have a struggle you, you've been coming to this place where it's like you come to like if it's meant for me it's for me and if it's not it's not and you come to this place where you're okay with it you know you're like you know you trust in the process now you're you're giving it to to god you're giving it to spirit you're not stressing yourself anymore you you know that there's something greater out there that's going to you know take care of things for you you know and you're not trying to control things so your spiritual growth is like really amazing and i feel like it, I, I really feel like you're at the peak you know like the, the first card that starts the journey of the wands is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is always like inspiration and having that new growth, that, that start, that new beginning. And the, the 10 is like the end of the journey. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're, you're like taking all your burdens and with the Hierophant, you, you have finally come to this place where, you know, I'm dropping them all now because I can't control everything and everything that's happened in the past. Like I've learned the lesson, you know, so I really feel like you, you, you've come to this great place and look where you, you've ended up here where like you've matured, you know, so I feel like you're in a really great place with your spiritual growth. And I mean, it, congratulations, like you've graduated. <laughs> and you can now like enjoy your life that's what I feel and then I feel like in October you're really going to feel the effects of that you know and that's awesome that's like super positive for you and if you're still doubting yourself well it's not October yet so you know just kind of it and it's just spiritual growth is like anything it's like muscle growth you know it's like education you know kindergarten through 12th grade or all the way up through college you know and all the way up through your, your PhD if you choose to so to get it but it's it's all obviously it's like an education all the way to the very last day like we always keep learning we should always remain a student so you always keep learning but the fundamentals and the basics i see in october it's like I, i'm good i understand how it works now you know so now all i have to do is just keep walking the walk and keep talking the talk you know, so there's a lot of change. I see a lot of change. You've, you've definitely, you're crossing the threshold in October. Um, good place, being in a good place, ready to birth that whole new baby, symbolically, of course. Okay, let's take a look here. So, you got past love, in the past, or past lover. Okay, past love. Let's take a look. Why is this showing up here? Why is this showing up in October? Don't forget, join the OnlyFans because part of that message is in there as well. And the link is in the description box below. Just go to my link tree. Once you click on my link tree, there will be a link for the OnlyFans and also at the end of this video. Okay, so you've got the Eight of Cups. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. What? Okay, temporary separation with a past lover. Um, it could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. For some of you, you've got a past love who has left and gone on and either got married or remarried, or they have created a whole new family, and you find out about this in October. And if that is sad for you, then... Um, you know, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bring sadness. Um, but I feel like for others, if it's not sad for you, um, you might be just wishing them well and be happy for them. And I think if you're able to arrive at that place, 
um, then that would be really great for you. If you're able to just kind of pull up your bootstraps and say, well, I'm sad for me, but I'm happy for them. So good for them. Let them be happy. Okay. So this eight of cups though, in, in as far as you go here, for some of you, there is this past love situation where your past person, your past lover, um, if you are still kind of holding on to this person, I do feel like they're this person has been away from you in your life. And I do see there will be a return with this person um, where it's really a, a divine timing kind of thing um, where there will be like kind of a ha happily ever after. For some of you, it is a Sagittarius. So we'll see that. And I'm also picking up, um, could be a Pisces. Yes. Okay. So uh, this this Sag, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn is what's going on with this temporary separation? What is the deal with that? Okay. Might have been locked up in prison. Or they're getting out of jail. <laughs> For others, there is this energy of um, they had some mental struggle or mental instability. And I feel like they had to go get well. I just heard they had to go get well. Okay. They had to, yeah, they had to go get well. Okay. Now, as far as like how long you guys have been separated, it may have been um, eight days. For some, it's eight days, eight weeks, eight months, eight years. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there with the past love situation. Um, now, you also have young female. So what's going on with this young female? It says youthful, also music and fashion. Let's see. Okay. King of Wands. Oh. Okay, so I see a young female. She wins some kind, of, some kind of an award. There's a young female winning an award. Or she gets recognized by someone for some kind of a talent. Now it could be you um, or someone connected to you. She gets recognized for, some, for a talent. It could have something to do with writing, right? There was fashion, there was music, could be sport. She gets a lot of accolades, applause, contracts are written. She gets signed for something. That six of wands, she gets an agent. Yes, huge, okay, especially in October. And I'm just, uh, there's like um, recognition, success, victory, award, good news, definitely. And this King of Wands comes in as someone who is like, um, like they're powerful, like they're well-known, a well-known person that comes in and, you know, offers a contract or signs. Yeah, it's a sweet deal for sure. A sweet, sweet deal. Beautiful. Yeah, this young female. So it could be something to do with, um, they're telling me maybe uh, for some it's like gymnastics, like maybe um, the Olympics or some kind of um, competitive sports or, you know, something where there's performance is what I feel. She might even um, get some kind of, uh, finish school early or she gets some kind of an award for something to do with school as well or she gets accepted also in some in a school or some kind of a scholarship they're also saying like some kind of diploma or accepted into a she gets an award of some sort or signed a deal 
you know, it doesn't have, it could be school, like a music school or a fashion school or, or, you know, she's a young female. So I don't feel like she could be, you know, obviously she's under 18. She could even be along the lines of like a child here at the Page of Cups. Now, obviously, like she could be your child. She could be your niece or a friend's child, you know, or a grandchild. There's a connection. You have a connection to her somehow, some way, right? It could be a boy as well, but they're giving me young female. You know, in this day and age, it doesn't matter. Um, so I feel like... <laughs> There's definitely recognition. You may get some communication from a parent about this. And it's like, wow, it's like, oh my gosh, there's some kind of, well, I was going to say funding. I mean, there is success, but there's not, I don't see the money aspect here. Let me see. But there is notification about this for sure. So I think that's pretty darn cool. <laughs> So darn, it's so darn amazing that somebody can't sleep. It's like, oh my God, it's almost so stressful. It's like, I can't, like, there's no sleep. Nobody's sleeping. Everybody's up. Like, it's so, it, this is like a million dollar lottery win. Two million, five million. Yeah, nobody's sleeping. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is how amazing this is. We're up all night. The stress, this poor kid. <laughs> it's so exciting. She's going to need, like, somebody's going to need to make sure that she gets some sleep because she's going to be overwhelmed with happiness and joy that she's, I know that this is not a happiness and joy card, but I'm telling you, <laughs> look at this. She's gonna be like, oh my God, oh my gosh, she's gonna be worried. Like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Oh my gosh. Um, maybe not if she's five. If she's really little, there might be like this. She might get a little scared, but it's, a, it's I feel like it's a really good thing. I do. It's good for her. Her future looks already sealed her future is already been confirmed or will be at least in october this amazing i would love for you guys to leave me a comment if you already are like oh we are, we're waiting for this so this thing yes definitely we know what this is we know what this is okay let me see what do we want to do i just want to get a, other messages here what we already know what this is okay let's see and don't forget, tomorrow I'll be back. We're going to do your weekend reading. Okay. You've got bossy male, direct honest female. Okay. What's going on here? A bossy male and a direct honest female. Okay. We've got fire sign and an air sign. Money in the bank. Okay. There's definitely going to be some type of conversation and a little bit of negotiation as far as money goes or a raise promotion that kind of thing going on at a, at a, at a career or a job or maybe a strike there's definitely going to be something happening in regards to money and a job situation between workers and employers um did i say this week i meant this month definitely um about money Okay, not enough money in the bank or needing to have more money in the bank. Somebody arguing about their pay, or not enough money, or could be a union thing going on. That's definitely going to be playing out for you specifically. So pay attention to that. You also have a new love beginning happening. You have a motherly figure watching over you, guiding you. You are also divinely blessed. Open your heart to receive in October. Cherish your children, if you have any animals, and be one with love. Let's see what else. Okay. You also have a new love start happening. And that's what I was hearing here. Open your heart to receive. You've got love coming in. Definitely in October. We saw that yesterday, too. So, yeah. Love is on the table, Virgo. Definitely in October. There is no doubt. Cuffing season is beginning. You will not be alone. I definitely feel a plus one is coming in for you in October. Peace, the influence of balance and harmony are over you. Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life. All good things are happening behind the scenes. Trust that God, trust that spirit is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient. Trust his timing. You have Cupid's arrows, love messages, and travel are happening in October. A lot of that. 
and haste, speed, and travel. So there's going to be some love and travel. Could for some of you, a long distance relationship is going to be moving fast and furious and moving forward in October. Let's take a look at your Chinese sign and see. Okay, for you, we have Ear of the Snake, Ear of the Dragon, Ear of the Pig, Ear of the Ox, Ear of the Tiger, Ear of the Horse, Ear of the Snake again, that's like a Cobra, Ear of the Pig, wait, Dog, excuse me, how's that a dog? Oh, I see. It's a wolf dog thing. Okay. And year of the rooster. So if you are any of those Chinese signs, this reading is specifically more for you. But if you're not, it doesn't mean it is not. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Let's see. What else are we going to see? Let's take a look at your love messages. What love messages? spirit have for you here virgo this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so whoever the person in your heart is as you're listening to this reading if you're if you're out there looking for a romantic partner you've, you've already met them um so you might have someone in your life or in your periphery at this time that you might not consider to be someone that you would want to be in a relationship, but it looks like this per that that particular person. Maybe you just know them, but you don't really know know them. But it looks like they are the one. They could be the one for you, but you may not. You might see them in passing. You know, they could be like person at the gas station or where you go to get your coffee. <laughs> You know, uh, the spirit's just saying you've already met your person. You've already met the one. Okay. And also they're saying, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, Virgo. Okay. All right. What else? So I just want to say... Um, releasing your ex does not mean you can go into your basement and untie them from the water heater. Um, releasing your ex <laughs> means you're energetically letting that person go, which means you are praying and you are forgiving and you are letting them go with love. Okay. Um, so that could also mean writing a long love letter we're getting it all out on paper, not sending it, whatever it is, um, releasing them energetically. It does not mean you're, you know, uncuffing them from your wrist. You never should have anyone, any hold on anybody to that extent. <laughs> this is an energetic release. Okay. So whatever it takes for you to release your ex it basically means an energetic release and it, that it's time now to put that into practice if you haven't done that yet okay in october or even right now as you start as we're going into october okay let me see you also have and stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and it's true you know if if we what we think is what we attract it's true positive thinking will attract positive thinking and faith will bring you romance right so if you are in that place of being optimistic and staying positive and staying in faith love will come in if you're always in a negative, it's never going to happen for me. That's you're basically telling the universe 
and they're going to mirror that back to you. So what you put out there is what you get in return. Okay. And what happens very soon? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So that's about what you're putting out into the universe. What do you want so that it comes to you? What are you putting out there? Okay. I feel like these are more like little spiritual lessons than predictions. At least those messages were. All right. Let's see. Let's get into... Yes, yes, everyone, it is Scrabble time, but I'm not going to spend a whole hour on that Scrabble time. Okay, so 1982, significant year for somebody. Okay, someone's name starts with the letter E. Someone is age 40. 1971, okay, someone's name starts with the letter N. Okay, someone is 49. Okay, September 2nd, August 23rd, and someone is age 30. Okay, someone is using aloe right now, or puts aloe, or put aloe on their skin. Someone just got a loan, or just got approved for a loan. Let's see if we can get some names. Okay, I just heard Jeff. J, no, they're giving me G E O F F. Um, I just heard Joaquim. I just heard Joe, Joseph, Jose. Um, uh, somebody's got some fog. It's foggy out. Uh, somebody has Fios. <laughs> Fios. Okay, somebody plays foosball. Foos, foosball, foosball, foosball. Okay. Okay, kick, 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 kick. Somebody likes the Foo Fighters? <laughs> Foo Fighters. I forget their songs. I was more of a Pearl Jam fan. Foo Fighters. Kind of like, yeah, I liked some Nirvana songs and. I did like some of the Foo Fighters stuff, but I was just a Pearl Jam girl. Okay, initial K. And we have initial A. Initial L. We have Kaylee, Callie. We have someone's name starts with the letter U. Someone's name has two oo two oos. What the hell am I saying? Two O's. Someone just took a poo. <laughs> Who's taking a poo while they're listening to my readings? That's disgusting. Someone's on someone's in the loo taking a poo listening to House of Vergu. Crazy, y'all crazy. Okay. Um okay. Dairy Queen, anybody? Who's going to get some ice cream? Um Die D A I Uh Kayla, Dara, okay, Kalu, Kalu, these are some interesting, yeah, names, Leo, somebody called Leo, somebody call for a Leo, <laughs> okay, somebody drinking some ale, all right, uh, Aldi's, going to Aldi's, all right, someone's in California, Oklahoma, Alabama, someone is in Florida, lives in Florida, Louisiana, I'm hearing, and um, Colorado, mm, okay, uh, Joplin, I just heard Joplin, Mississippi, okay, um, hold on a second now. All right. Somebody here has the flu or is getting the flu. I'll take care of yourself if you have the flu. If you're sick, I hope you feel better. The California flu. Is that what it's called? The calf flu. Okay. Be careful. Hawaii. Someone's in Hawaii. Hawaii. 
all right you guys so that was fun i think i'm gonna leave that there oh they just gave me four numbers hold on they said six six seven eight that's funny all right they're giving me four more numbers so i guess these would be like phone numbers so last four digits of a phone number six six seven eight five three one zero here's another one three one seven nine uh three one one four and six five seven three okay so if that resonates for you well that would be crazy oh wait i gotta get a charm then that would be great then that's a message for you let's see what do we have here what in jesus's sandals is this you guys sometimes i do get i do get a charm and i, ca I can't tell you what it is and I'll show it to you, but I'm not going to speak on it because I have no idea what it is. Okay, I just want you to know. If anything comes to me, I will let you know. I, there is, okay, it's a leaf. I feel like maybe it's a leaf of some sort. It's a very, all right, it's a broken leaf. Okay, a broken leaf. Uh, somebody might have a gold leaf that's like missing some parts to it. It's, it's a broken leaf. Or it's a very odd um it's a uh, okay a fading leaf they just said so a leaf that's green but it's got a lot of yellow in it so it's kind of like fading and i i don't feel like that's very unique but something is telling me that you if you see that right after this video a fading leaf fading color or it's got some strange colors in it in weird places that's definitely a message here for you i don't know what that means except to say it's about change something to do with change Oh, look, you've got an owl. What the hell? Is that an owl or like a cat bird? What the hell is that thing? That's not an owl. I've never seen an owl with ears. All right, you guys. There's some, this is some kind of a, there, there's a cat bird. That's a cat bird. Y'all, that is some strange kind of hybrid looking cat bird looking thing. I don't even know what the hell that is and I can't even tell you somebody maybe there's like somebody's got there's okay they're just saying these are weird messages now of course we're going into some so the holidays are we're going into over here uh, where we are up in the northern hemisphere we're going into the fall season there might be a cat in a tree that's what I'm hearing. There's a cat in the tree. You're going to see a cat in a tree. And you're going to think it's a bird, but it's a cat. That right there, I don't know what to say. That's a cat bird. So just the word. <laughs> bird is the word. Cat bird is the word. I know I said the other day, I think I said cat dog. Wasn't that like a cartoon back in the early 2000s? But this, or no, was that even earlier maybe? But this is, I'm not speaking on it because I have no, I thought it was an owl, but I honestly have never seen an owl with ears. So yeah, leave me a comment if you know. Some of these, why am I picking up the weird charms? Because the other day we had tools, didn't we? And I tried so hard to say the L in caulk because I just was struggling with that. Okay, I'm going to do one more and then we're done. And if this isn't a normal, everyday kind of charm, I don't know what to say. All right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. I can't even pick one up. Okay, well, one last thing. We've got a footprint. So that's really cute. There's a footprint. There's a baby footprint. So like I said, there's something the other day about a pregnancy. You're going to find out about a pregnancy um and or a baby being born and there's going to be like a little footprint being pressed ink onto a birth certificate of some sort you might be looking at your kids footprints old footprints you might find their old birth certificates with you know how they do the little baby footprints you might be looking at that or maybe putting them in frames or something super super cute um or doing something with that or giving that as a gift to someone 
new mom. All right, I'm going to leave that there because my grandson is visiting now. I just heard his little voice, and I'm going to have to go say hello to him. So I love you guys. I will see you all back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. Have a great night, and take care. Oh, man.